I can say that Chile is a food basket of personal safety at different levels. So we deserve to be deserted, we deserve to be part of the uh, cultural calendar, we deserve to be part of the event calendar, and we are seeking for that collaboration with your office. I know we can't do it alone, so we need you to guide us. We need you to tell us the requirement on how to go about it. We need your collaboration. We need your anything at all you can let us um, know on how to properly be guided. And then secondly, we would like to uh, we pray and hope that you come with your delegation, with your team, to see how we can really celebrate. And then maybe when we come back, we'll not do a review. We'll not see a, prof a professional way in how to go about the whole process. So that's why we are here as a committee. But then before we continue, I would like us to do some introduction. So we are ready, I'm Vichy Zakpala, I'm the alternate chairman. B. Our chairman is um, Chiaki Chabud. She, she's, she's in Canada presently. Yeah, but then she's been, she sent her regards to you as well and said that um, I should thank you for the access that you granted us as a committee. So my name is Vichy Zakpala, so I'm the alternate chairman. So let's start the introduction. I'm the alternate chairman, contact and mobilization committee. I'm Boniface Ugunbe, chairman of Ukeleka Kalaba. So the whole of Ukele people that live in Kalaba, that's our chairman. <laughs> oh, okay, yes. I'm Pius Ude, uh, secretary venue of committee. Christy Adinye, chairman welfare committee, Ukele New Year 2024, and president Ukele Women in Kalaba. Wow. So. Uh, well, Ukele New Year Festival has uh, already been said. It's a yearly event. But um, all Ukele sons and doctors in the diaspora at home, we celebrate the King of Cross, which is Yam. So this year, we last year we did it. The years back we've been doing it. Last year we did it collectively in a central venue. This year we want to make it bigger. That is why we want to extend this kind of fellowship to this office here in particular so that we be part of that occasion. That with your presence is going to make a difference. That's why we are here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you sir. So it's over to you. Sister, a seasoned broadcaster, a fighter, <laughs> a go-getter, very dogged, very tenacious, <laughs> and uh, very God-fearing as well. My colleague and friend, I call her Lady B, mm -hmm. and of course other very distinguished members of the um, Ukele Nation and the committee of the New Year Festival. I must first of all thank you very much for finding time to visit us here at the events department. Uh, for me, Beatrice and I have come a long, long way, you know, from the um, electronic media world. We've been together at the state's own television and radio. Uh, she's my colleague in the media. We don't have, uh, we call ourselves, we're all colleagues, yeah. but we know senior colleagues and of yeah. course junior yeah, colleagues, yeah. you know, and all of that. She's one young lady who came in with some steez and um, she's, she's been able to, you know, make that difference. Uh, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't shut her down. I call her the Christian Amampo of <laughs> our own time here. She is, once her microphone and her camera is on, she can interview, she can interview whoever, and she's very spontaneous. So I must thank you for uh, her choice of alternate chairman is, is very apt. I must commend you guys for a fantastic job that you're doing. I've always heard of Ukele. I've been there uh, during the campaigns. I was there and um, we used to have a commission. I used to call him Ukele must be, he must be here. And then we jokingly say, Ukele has been here, Ukele has been seen, Ukele has been empowered. And you say the empowerment, so you say that you have been empowered, but all the same, Ukele is a very strong, um, uh, uh, how would I put it down, strong um, component of the Yale Nation that is doing very, very, very well. And uh, uh, the New Yam Festival for me is not something that is new. Uh, we've had New Year festivals across the state, but Ukele's one is quite very unique. Uh, first of all, I'd like to let you know that for us in events department, we inherited one New Year festival, which is on the tourism calendar of the state. That is the Lebopu New Year festival. And it wasn't, you know, initiated by the present administration. 
of distinguished senator Prince Basil Eroto. He started from the era of Governor Duke. And whilst he was in office, he thought it wise to create that um, festival back then. And when Governor Moke came in, he sustained it and even improved upon it by introducing the Mr. and Ms. Leboko and, of course, Best, excuse me, Best Harvester as well. Uh, we've been a bit careful because we have other festivals, you know, New Year festivals across the state where people have come here to say, ah, we need this to be added into our calendar. We need this one to be added into our calendar. We can't just sit down and take that decision of including others because once you include this one, another one will say that, why haven't you included us? But I would say it also that as a department, there's nothing wrong in, you know, partnering and being part of it. Mm -hmm. September, she knows for me from that period, is very busy for us because of planning for the Calabar Festival and Carnival, yeah. which comes up in December. But one day won't hurt if I can look at our schedule and see I can bring my colleagues for us to come together and you know, attend, attend this yeah. festival and get a first-hand experience yeah. of how the festival uh, usually is. Um, Festivals for us in the States is, um, especially cultural fe cultural festivals, are a heritage that we have that is very deep and very rich. A lot of those sort of, uh, like I was telling somebody the other day, I said, you have the Arungungu Fishing Festival. We have Bakasi. We have water. There's nothing wrong for us to also have the Bakasi Fish Festival. We have the New Year Festival. We can have it across other local governments and also feel a bit of what others you know also have in their various new yam celebration there is nothing wrong in that so what i'll assure us is that i will try my best to be part of this years to see so that we can know have a story to tell and uh putting it on the tourism calendar of course that needs to take a lot of process which she has a mental picture uh, of of so once again i want to thank you people for coming and wishing you people the very best in your celebration as uh, come 16th of mm -hmm. September, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. No, uh, no. Yes, okay. 16th okay. of September. Okay. I wish you guys the very, very best celebration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Secondly, yes. uh, this one is within your program directly. Okay. We have a lot of talented young people in Mutili, a lot of um, upcoming artists. Some of them are even experienced hands that have not been you know, given the opportunity to be on the carnival stage for anything whatsoever. You know, it's been quite difficult for them to integrate into that, uh, you know, the carnival um, schedule. Okay. So we want to appeal to you as a committee, I plead with you, if you could give us a few slots to have our sons at least have the privilege of climbing that podium, even if it's once in a lifetime. Okay. We've never had that opportunity before. So yes. we want to appeal to you collectively for the 2024 um, festival and the carnival itself. It might not even be the carnival, but the festival. You know, the festival takes more days, you know. So if you could just give us a few slots to incorporate some of our upcoming artists to be part of the process, that would be landmark. That would be epic for them. And they will live to remember you and remember your legacy for the rest of their lives. So it's a personal appeal we are, I'm making on behalf of the entire committee to you. No problem. All right. We'll see what we can do. And once that time gets around November, you just let us know. Okay. So that we can. So, like, like how many? So I can start I can't, preparing. I, can, no, I can't promise you the number. <laughs> okay. But just, but just, um, okay. just give us around November. Okay. November. Just we put a call again okay. to remind us. Okay. I'll come. So I'll come here. Yeah, no problem. I'll come around here. November. All right. On behalf of the 2024 Ukraine New Year, Ukraine Central Planning Committee, we call us Ukraine. They are called Scully Lebo, who we call as the yeah, okay. 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 So on behalf of the 2024 Liquid Planning Committee, we want to say a very big thank you to you for creating this environment to receive us warmly. You know, looking at your size, someone <laughs> would just think that you scare us away. Nah, but you've given us warm reception. We are very grateful. Thank you very much, sir. We hope to see you come 15th of September 2024. We have a very good hotel in Ukraine, so don't be scared. No <laughs> we are grateful to you for 15 and 16. <laughs> yes, we are grateful too to Senator Prince Otu, who has done the palliative on the road. So don't be scared about the road, so you can drive to Anokom and drive out safely. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.